Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> so short video on the aquarium, uh, so uh, update that I have uh, is uh, I, I updated the light, upgraded the light. I went with the Radeon uh, G5 Blue. Uh, my LFS had one in stock, uh, so I just uh, pulled the trigger and got it. That way, um, I'm not having problems in the in the future uh, getting par <clears throat> because on the Gen 6 uh, I'm pretty sure I was only getting like par like like the good part in the middle uh, so I want to have a more even spread uh, I'm still gonna add more acros uh, still waiting on on the local on the local hobbyist to frag them and let them cure for at least a week or two and and yeah so this Radeon G5 I'm running it at 35 percent which is a uh, it basically almost the same power I was running the G the G6 because the G6 uh I was running it at 70%. So basically with this uh, light, I'm getting like twice the power, it's like twice as big. So I went with that, that way uh, the corals don't uh, get shocked. Um, everything's doing fine. This is, this is, uh, it's already a week and one day with this uh, new light, um, everything's doing fine. Um, I'm also looking at a, a second MP40 just to have it on standby. I mean, the MP10 is doing okay, but like I said in the recent video, uh, I can't turn it up more because I, I turn it up more and start, it starts doing some weird noise. So the MP40 at the moment, I believe I have it at 38%, but um, I was thinking on adding in the front on this area, I was thinking on adding the Reborn Media. Um, still need to go to my LFS to look at, at the grain size, which should be way better than the reef than the reef sand that I have because uh, this one for sure if I crank it up to 50% for sure the right side will blow so yeah so I'm looking at that uh, second MP40 uh, just because uh, I don't want to run into problems in the future once this uh, aquarium hopefully grows out um, have flow issues so I want to be ready for that um, also my i tested my water my water came out to because i only test the calcium and alk that's all i test so i wanted to see what was going on in the aquarium why uh, my duncan was pissed um so i took the water got it tested and <clears throat> nitrates came out to two phosphates came out to zero uh I'm pretty sure it's not bottomed out because uh, my LFS said that, well, he's using the aqua spin. So it says that it can't read below certain levels. So I'm pretty sure I have a little bit of phosphate, but at the moment uh, with that test, it uh, come, came out to zero. Um, the alk came out to 9.3. The calcium came out to four. 25 or 445 something like that and the and the magnesium came out a little low to my liking it came out to 1256 um pretty sure that's why uh my duncan was pissed uh, maybe because of low mag uh my lfs also told me the same thing so i'm starting to dose uh the brightwell magnesium um Today is the second day I've dosed it, and ever since, uh, I mean, I've done two water changes, and the Duncan has opened on it ever since. But 
right now like it's way way puffier but i have it in the back i have it tucked in the back just because uh that one for sure doesn't like a uh, high flow so back there there's some flow but not nothing too uh vicious um so my goal is to uh bump up the mag uh to 1500 ppm um and i want to keep it there and so every water change that i do right now i'm doing uh three gallons every two weeks but i did one yesterday just to take out some it was like a slime green on the rock on the bottom right here so i just uh siphoned the uh, three gallons and siphoned the corner of the sand on the bottom left um yeah uh I'm thinking on also upgrading my skimmer, but since uh, I, I got those tests back, uh, I don't know if I should. Um, the Bubble Mag is uh, Curve 5 is doing just just as good. I mean, it turns on at night, so I mean, it it's a little bit noisy, but it's at night. By that time, uh, I'm not home or, or I'm already asleep. So maybe I'm gonna hold off on that. Uh, so probably at the moment, uh, I'm just gonna pick up the second MP40 just to have it uh, on hand when it's needed. Um, the dosing, I'm still doing the, the calc washer, the BRS. So I might switch, uh, well, once I finish uh, the magnesium uh, bottle, and I don't have any more. I might switch uh, back. Well, I might switch uh, to uh, the Brightwell calc washer just because it has a little bit of magnesium. That way, once I'm dosing the calc washer, I'm also dosing a tiny bit of uh, magnesium. Um, everything's doing super good. Like I said, uh, nothing reacted to the new light. Um, I'm just uh, running it basic, basically at the same percent. Just this one is uh, the XR30, so I just divided by two, 35%. <clears throat> um, I also cleaned out the, the teeth behind, uh, back there on the overflow. It was clogged with some, with some algae. Uh, so I have a, it, the water level came, came more down. And I could see like the, the flow on top way better and there's like much more water movement on top of the surface um still using the the filter floss i just cut out a three by four and just and i just place it there i mean water that passes by through there i mean gets polished the other one it doesn't but i mean the water's like super crystal clear i do have carbon at the moment uh, just because like I s like a few days or no a few weeks ago I painted uh, this part of the house so I'm still running the carbon just in case uh, something is in the water <clears throat> but everything's doing fine uh, acros are doing awesome um, what else I'm also thinking on removing that uh, that uh, tang right there. I mean, it's it's already a little big to for this aquarium, um, so I'm just gonna look into hopefully finding a, a good home for it. Just because here local, uh, there's there's not much of a good reefers, uh, but the LFS. Mainly here where I'm from is uh, fresh water, but nothing too crazy. Um, I just want them to go to a good home. Uh, maybe uh, the reefer that's uh, getting me the frags, he's gonna start a big system. So maybe I'll just hand them over to him once his system is up and running. Um, but yeah, everything is doing fine uh roof brights uh, i still i still kept them they don't fit where they supposed to but 
I mean, I just put them on top and they're still doing their, their thing. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe. Hopefully, uh, by the time we hit 120 subscribers, uh, I'll give uh, I'll do a small giveaway. Um, also, uh, check out uh, there's a there's a seller here local that has some fire corals. He's a little bit far from me. Uh, his his page on Facebook is called a uh, Salty Amigos. Uh, so. Uh, just tell him I sent you and he'll give you a good a good deal. Um, he also has a website, I believe. It should be the same thing, uh, Salty Amigos. Uh, it's, it's, it's being run by Zach. Um, he's an awesome guy. Uh, he's been, he does also maintenance here down in the, in the valley. He knows his stuff and I highly recommend you guys are buying corals from him. He has super good prices. Uh, the more you take, the better the better price he gives you. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you for uh, watching this uh, 11 minute video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys.